Yes, welcome to IITA webcast helping you to prepare for your PMP CAPM exam. Your host is Dr. Tux on Banjo. The topic today is critical path analysis part two. We have four parts, parts one through four. IITA is located at 2470 Windy Hill Road, so 322A. Mereta, Georgia 30067 Telephone 404-207-3981 Now we're going to continue with what we introduced in part 1 It's about sequencing of tasks and uh, we have examples here the most, impo the most important type of sequencing is called finish to start and the, this example tax A starts and ends and then tax B takes off so but there's a three days lag if this finishes on Friday no work on Saturday no work on Sunday so this will start on the third day so there's one scenario there's also what is called start to start tax C can only start when tax A has started um, so there also may be a delay. There's also what you call finish to finish. Tax A we have to finish before tax C can finish. Or else tax C will just keep going on on except there's a signal that tax A has finished. So these are the kind of other relationship you have apart from finish to start, which is typical of this. Uh, there are many other scenarios on the, the node method, especially regarding to this finish to start. We have this that is common. B depends on A. It is only when A finishes that B will start. In this case, tax B and tax C are independent, but they both depend on the completion of tax A. If tax A is not finished, none of them can start. In this case, tax C tax C here also can only start when both tax A and tax B are finished. If it's only tax A that is that finishes, tax C will not start. The two are required before tax the two are required to be completed before tax C can start. Well, we have a convention and this convention uh, we need to probably look at them, the rules and convention. There are only three rows. One, just one start is allowed. Just one finish is allowed. Then there are no danglers, no bridge leading to nowhere. The convention is a is a rectangular box. On the left top side, we have the early start time and usually called the ES or which means simply early start. Then we have next to that is the duration which is called D. Next to that is also the top right corner is called early finish time or simply called EF or which means early finish. In the middle in the middle of the box is what's called tax number or the name of the task. At the last at the left left bottom part of the box is what is called late start time or simply called LS meaning list start. Next to that is total float simply called TF and on the right side of the bottom part of the box is late called late finish time simply called LF which means late finish. There are night tax here there are night tax for this project to be completed, one to tax one to nine, uh, tax A does not depend on anything, so it will run for three months. Tax tax two uh, will run for four months, provided that tax A is completed. So it depends on tax A. Uh, tax same thing. Tax four running for six months. It also depends on the completion of tax A. It won't start until when tax A is completed, and that also applies to 
to this also tax six. Tax six also will run for two months. It will not start on the tax once completed. The three tax here, tax two, four, and six, all will require tax one completion before they can start. Then we can look at the rest. Tax three also require tax two. I need to run for three months where tax two has started, uh, has finished, sorry. And ta tax five also require to run for three months, provided that task four has previously been completed. Uh, task seven will also run for five months, provided that tax three and five are completed. Tax eight also will, will run for two months, provided that tax six has been completed, because it depends on that. Tax nine will run for only one month, provided that tax seven and eight are completed. Now, that's the diagram. You can see the, the tax one uh, which is completed and then tax two, four and six you no know, start and tax three depends on tax two, tax five depends on tax four, or tax three and five uh, are required to be completed before tax seven will, uh, will, will start. And tax eight depends on tax six and tax seven and eight are required before tax nine is completed. Now let's look at what you call forward pass. Uh, now let's put all the figures in there. If this one start on 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 the first month and to, and the duration is three, it's supposed to run for for three months. So the first month, the second month, the third month. So the end of the project of this tax, the early finish will be three months. And this is a tax here. So um, every other tax, every other tax that depends on this, when this one is completed at the you know at the late you no know, at the uh, when this one is completed right let's say um it's completed la the last day of the month that's the you know that's the limit because for three months let's say it's completed the last day of the month of the third month then this will take off on the fourth month first day of the fourth month first day on the fourth month first day of the fourth month and that's why we have plus plus one plus one plus one so in this case this will run for for two months if it runs for two months, so the first month is the fourth month, then the second one, the second month, uh, because this is for two months duration, the second month will be the fifth month. So the finishing of this will be, will be, the, will be on, the fifth, on the fifth month. Then the next one, if it's this finish on the last day of the fifth month, the next one uh, will be on the fourth day of the sixth month. So we have plus one here. Let's quickly look at this. Uh, the same thing here, uh, this for duration of four months, and the the finishing of it will be on the probably on the last day of the seventh month, but the, the next one is take off on the eighth month, the first day of the eighth month, and then so for you to calculate this, you can just look at this to calculate the EF, which we are trying to calculate here by uh, this for three months, right? So the EF you just put the early start here, which is eight, and then uh, put the duration, which is three, and uh, minus one. So eight plus three is eleven minus one is ten, so you get this ten. Same thing here. Put the the early start here, which is the four past ten. The duration is three. That's thirteen minus one. This is twelve. When we have two of them coming together this way, the two of them you know are required to be completed before this can take off. Alright, you if you look at this, this finish on the last day of the tenth month, and this finish on the last day of the twelfth month, and this cannot start until both of them are completed. Then that means this will start on the fourth day of the thirteenth month. So you take the highest when you are coming this way. Same thing with this. This one ends in 17. So uh, if, the, if we up, end on the last day of the 17th month, so this will take off on the eight, first day of the 18th month. But this one is ending on this on the seventh month. So this is supposed to take off on the first day of the 8th month. But because it required the two of them to be completed before this can start, then uh, you will take the higher one, which is the 18th. And if you do it uh, using, a, using this concept now, if you put 18 here, then plus the duration 1, that's 19 minus 1, this is 18. So the duration of this project is uh, is 18 months. 18 months. Now let's quickly look at the backup uh, process. So remember that when you are going on the forward, on the forward pass, you always take the highest, just like 17 year and 8 year. No, 17 year, 7 year, this is supposed to be supposed to start on the following month of the 18th or on the 8th month but 18th is more than 8th so you take the 18th let's look at the backward pass 
the backward pass, what it means is that uh, you repeat the you repeat the 18 month here, you know, which is the duration of the project, you repeat it here, and then you apply what this backward pass formula. You are always trying to calculate the LS. So the L LF is 18 minus 1, which is the duration, which is this one, plus 1. So this will be 18 plus 1, uh, 18 uh, minus 1, no, minus 1, that is 17, plus 1, that is 18. So this is also 18. Then when you are going backward, if this is 18, this will have finished late, uh, uh, by, this, by the last day of the 17 months. So this should be 17. This should be minus 1 from there will give you 17. Minus 1 from here will give you 17 here too. Once we have this also, we put that in here. LF is 17, tax is 5, and then uh, the duration is 5 minus 1. So 17 minus 5 is um, 12 plus 1, 13. So that's how you got it. Uh, same thing here. 17 minus 2, uh, which is um, which is uh, 15 plus 1. The 17 is there, the 2 is the duration plus 1, so that is 16. When you are going backward also here, uh, you if this finish, if this is going to start on the first day of the 16 month, this will have finished on the last day of the 15 month. So you, name, you do minus 1 here to get this one, 15. Now, I haven't gotten this, let's look at this again. 15, if this is 15 here, uh, level is 15, the duration is 2, so it will be 15 minus 2, 13 plus 1, this is 14. Now this returns 14 here. So the, the previous, so the one that depends on should have finished on the last day of the 13th month. But because there are many others that depends on it, this one is returning 4. So this will be, uh, if this is start on the 4th month, this will have finished on the last day of the late finish, it will have been on the last day of the 3rd month. So this is returning 6. So if this is to take off, and it depends on this, this will have finished, uh, last, uh, late finish will have be on the last day of the fifth month. So we will take the lowest here because, you know, uh, this will not, you know, none of this will take off. Uh, you know, when you are doing backward pass, you take the latest. So you, know, you take the smallest. So this is returning 3 here, and this is returning 4, uh, 13 here and this return is 6 here. So when you are doing backward pass, you take the latest. Uh, so you can see the critical path. This is the critical path. There is the, the red one going this way. And you can see in critical path, both uh, the the EF and the LF are the same. The ES and the LS are the same. All around the critical path. You can see then 17, 17, 13, 13. Because this means there is no float. We are going to discuss about float in the next uh, in the next episode, this nine nine, this four four, and this three three, and this one one. Whereas in the non-critical part, you can see that the ES and the LS are different, the EF and the LF are different. Uh, thank you. We're going to talk more about that Flute. in the next episode. Thank you so much. Uh, you have to go to ita.com for you to uh, see more of what we do. We have weekend courses. We have. Um, um, month long courses we have we also have in house off site courses and then um, on pmp and cpm so thank you and you have a great day bye bye and remember to also look at the third the third uh, part and the fourth thank you